Yo guys, what's up? My name is Banner Contronaut. Here with another speedrun on Direct for our Mini. Uh, this is a map that me, ZZ, Jack, and Paul made. It's just a mini version of Direct Fire. <laughs> Pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna spawn here. Uh, Direct Fire's mini is different in a lot of ways than Direct Fire. The first thing you'll see is that we're gonna run first first. Um, it's actually a couple seconds faster to do first last, but first is so reset heavy you only get past it about 10% of the time that it's just way more worth it to do first first so you can reset. Uh, we're gonna block off this cave here. Um, that's the only one we block off the other um, two floors we hope to get good spawns on. Kind of cover out here. Um, the thing that makes you die the most on first is just creepers dropping down on you and also zombies. So you really don't want any creepers or zombies spawning right next to the corner you're digging down on. But we got first out pretty fast time. Uh, there's a safe way you can do first, but it's a lot slower. Uh, now we're going to go straight to third. And I found a cool new strat for third that I'm um, going to be using. Um, it's actually found my muck. Uh, give him credit. Um, instead of grabbing ladders and doing the standard thing we do in Direct Fire, there's actually one pixel um, before the void lane that the lava doesn't, like, you don't take damage from the lava from. So we're just going to run along the very, very, very front of the map on the last pixel and uh, run in and run out to get the wool. This works on Direct Fire, but it's not fast because there's not um, a too thick lava at the bottom. But on Direct Fire Mini, it works out perfectly, as we see. It's actually only a couple seconds faster than the other strat with ladders to do on Third Wall and Direct Fire Mini, which is also really fast, found by Jack. Um, but that's something... Uh, well, it requires ladders, so you need to take another few seconds to go out of your way. So even though it looks really cool, it only saves like five seconds. But still awesome. Uh, coming up with second here. Second's pretty free. The only thing is the blaze at the end, which always spawns, um, and you have to get past only get past it maybe, I don't know, 60% of the time. Uh, this In this map it actually spawned too, which is pretty rare, but I just got really lucky and it didn't shoot me. I got out perfectly clean. Um, yeah, so uh, really lucky there, but you know, kind of have to be lucky to get a good time on this map. Uh, all my mistakes in this run pretty much are coming out, well, on second, coming in and coming out. Um, the first like more than half of the run with first and third were pretty much flawless. I don't even know if there was a second of a stake in there. Uh, yeah, so eating our last piece of food, gonna come out. We also, I also routed this map so you have exactly enough blocks. You get um, the stack of TNT and then you get all of the red wool and that gives you just enough blocks. Uh, just gonna make our way to the monument, doing some tree parkour, lots of little movement optimizations that I've done um, from Jack's old record of this map, which is uh, 329. So yeah, gonna place, cool run, first is annoying to reset for, uh, see you guys later.